Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I am going to be doing a declutter. I recently did a makeup inventory. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. And I was pretty shocked with the numbers. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what I wanted to get out of doing the makeup inventory. Like I just wanted to count the makeup. I wasn't that sure if I wanted to get rid of things. But after reading all your comments, I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to go through some of the bigger categories declutter some and project pan some. Before we get into that process, I do want to mention the jewelry that I am wearing today. I was kindly gifted some pieces from Ana Luisa to share with my audience and I am so excited to be partnering with the brand. If you aren't familiar with the brand, Ana Luisa is a New York based company and they create affordable high quality jewelry. They are 100% carbon neutral and their prices start from 39 US dollars. Now I do have a 10% discount code for you to use. I'll pop it on the screen and down in the description box below. These days I am all about wearing dainty gold pieces of jewelry and Ana Luisa have me covered. The earrings that I'm wearing today are in the style Frida and they are just a small gold hoop with the dangling pearl. I love how they hug the earlobe. They're just such a beautiful, subtle statement piece and they also come in silver. The next style that I chose are very similar. These are called Celeste and they have small mismatched star and moon features hanging from the hoop, which I just love. Now gold stackable rings have been my newest obsession. So I went with the style, the Rope Mini and the Connor. The Connor is actually a collab with Connor Kathleen here on YouTube. She is Australian and I love her vlog. So I was very excited to be able to get her collaboration piece. Now both of these rings are adjustable, which I think is just such a great idea because you can change which finger it goes on. I think they also make for a really good gift idea as well because you don't have to know that person's specific ring size. You can just get them an adjustable option. If you want to check out any of the pieces that I mentioned today or more of the Ana Luisa range, then just click the link in the description box and don't forget to use my code TANIKA10 for 10% off of your order. All right, let's get decluttering. We have got product <laughs> everywhere. Let's start with something easy and do the primers. NYX Marshmallow Primer is one of my absolute favorites. That is definitely going to stay. All right, I've got the Rimmel Insta CC Primer. This is a color correcting primer. There's not much left, so I think I'll put this into my use up pile. This is the Astralis Color Click Primer, also an anti redness. I really like the feel of this one. It leaves a very velvety finish to the skin, so I'm gonna keep that one. I've got some pore filling primers, starting with the Benefit Pore Fessional. This one is a classic, I freaking love it. The Astralis See You Later Pores is definitely a good drugstore dupe for that primer, so <laughs> you can stay. And then the NYX Angel Veil. This used to be so hyped about, but I'm just not sure. I think I might try this out and then see what I think. Okay, I'm gonna have a lot of different piles. <laughs> I've got two of the MAC strobe creams here. These are amazing, they are staying. One that I can use up is this L'Oreal Glow Cherie Primer. There's clearly not much left, but I really did enjoy this. All right, this is the Rimmel Insta Strobing Highlighter. I rarely dip into this, so I think this is going to be the first product I'm going to declutter. This is the NYX Away We Glow Primer, a good drugstore dupe for the MAC Strobe Cream, although it is a little thicker in texture. Oh, I don't get much use out of it, but I like to have options for videos. <laughs> This is the designer brand's Rise and Prime Luminescent Primer, a beautiful glowy primer. That's staying. This is the Kmart OXX Cosmetics Sterling Primer. I didn't like much from the OXX range, but this was all right. I'm actually like tossing up with these two, if I should just keep one. I wanna keep both. <laughs> okay, this is a mini of the Hourglass Veil primer, is that what it's called? Not much left, so I'm going to put this in my use up pile. All right, that is all for primers. I actually like a lot of them and they have a lot of different finishes, so I'm not gonna get rid of too much from that pile. On to concealer, let's start with this one here, the Maybelline Age Rewind 
instant concealer. There's really not much left, so this can go into my use up pile. This is the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Concealer. I don't think I was a big fan of this. The coverage just wasn't what I wanted. So I think I'm going to try this one more time and then probably declutter it. You know, I just wanna make sure. Shape Tape can stay. The CoverGirl True Blend can stay. My e.l.f. concealer can stay. This is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. Now this one does look very light and I'm just not into that super bright under eye look anymore. Oh yeah, look, look at that shade. Let's put this in the to try pile, <laughs> but I'll probably declutter it. This is the Inoxa Dark Circle Concealer. Oh my God, I really love this. Very underrated, but I don't think there is much left. So let's use it up. This is the Designer Brand Skin Renew Concealer. Again, I just don't think this gave me as much coverage as I liked. Yeah, it does feel very watery. I'll test it out and see. This L'Oreal True Match Concealer is so good. It's more of a medium coverage, but the formula is just beautiful. So creamy, so hydrating, but very lightweight. Love this. This BYS Full Coverage Concealer is going to stay. It has really nice coverage and it's a good one for videos. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Concealer. Now, this doesn't have as much coverage as I like in a concealer, but it is a nice formula. So I think I'm going to keep this one as like my lightweight kind of option. Here we have another one of the CoverGirl concealers. I do like this, but this shade I believe is too fair for me. Look how light that is. I also have these camo concealers by e.l.f. and I really love the formula, super full coverage. But again, I just think my shades are too fair. Oh my God, they are so creamy, it's beautiful. I think I might get rid of this one, but I'll keep this shade. So the shade that I'm keeping is Fair Beige. All right, these ones I can definitely declutter. They are the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. First of all, look how much they've separated. I haven't used these in years, and I'm gonna say the shades are too fair. Oh, actually, that one looks all right. Maybe this one's too fair. Oh yeah, she's bright. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the super fair one. This is Fair Zero Two but I might keep Fair 04 and put that into my use up pile because she's old. And then I've got two of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealers. This is C 0.5, that's pretty much straight up pink. And then this is C1, which is straight up empty, so. <laughs> They can both go. Then lastly for concealers, I've got the Maybelline Superstay. I don't remember loving this. Oh, actually, the formula feels quite nice. Medium coverage. I'm gonna put that into my use up pile. All right, the camera's having a hard time focusing and it's really pissing me off, so. Let's change angles. That is all for concealers and moving on to foundations. Oh my God, oh my God. I feel like there's actually going to be a lot of retrying in this category because I'm just not wearing foundation as much anymore. You know, with the whole big virus, I had to wear a mask every day at work. And even though it has like calmed down a bit, I work in a hospital, so I still have to wear a mask every day. So I'm not getting to wear makeup as much. Well, foundation, which is kind of a bummer. So anyway, that's my mindset going into this if I don't declutter that much. <laughs> All right, let's start with a winner. This is the L'Oreal True Match. This ain't going anywhere. This would have to be almost my number one foundation. I love it. Another one from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Foundation. Now, I haven't worn this in a while, but I'm pretty sure I loved it. So I'm going to keep it. Do you know what I should do is reorganize this drawer into like my favorites and then ones I wanna try again. I'm going to put this in the I need to try it category because I'm pretty sure I liked it. It's just been a long time. From Makeup Revolution, I've got the Conceal and Define and the Conceal and Hydrate. <sighs> really couldn't tell you what the difference is between the two. One has a pump and one has a doe foot. I'm pretty sure I liked the Conceal and Define. 
It feels quite nice in a swatch. The Conceal and Hydrate actually feels thicker. All right, here we have the Rimmel Lasting Finish Matte. To be honest, I haven't even tried this. Oh, it feels very, um, moosey. Hmm. Well, we know what pile that's going in, don't we? All right, I've got two here by BYS, the Full Coverage Foundation, and this is the Face Fix Foundation. I love the full coverage, so that one is definitely staying. The Face Fix, can't remember. You know what, I've got two by BYS. I don't really need two, so I might just get rid of this one. All right, some by Maybelline. I've got the Dream Urban Cover and the Dream Radiant Liquid. What's the difference between the two, you ask? Great question. The Dream Liquid says it's got hyaluronic acid, medium coverage, 12 hours oh, of hydration. The Urban Cover says it's full coverage and lightweight. I think I might put this Dream Cover into rotation. Interested to try that one again. The Radiant Liquid does feel a little more thick when I'm swatching it on my hands. Here's the difference in the swatches as well. This is the Dream Radiant in 02 Fair Porcelain, and this one is the Dream Cover in 110 Porcelain. I should really try this one again as well, shouldn't I? <laughs> I might quickly just pull out some foundations that I love and I know aren't going anywhere, starting with the Maybelline. <sighs> I can't even talk about it. The Discontinued. Maybelline Superstay Foundation. <laughs> oh my god. I just had to crack open a new one. I've got a few um, backups from when they discontinued it. And then I also have two that are lighter shades. So these are actually US shades. 110 Porcelain and 102 Fair Porcelain. I got them from eBay when it first came out. I believe 102 is going to be way too fair. And 110, there's really not much left. So I don't just want to use them up because this is good shit. This shit's hard to get. So I'm just going to put that in my good pile, you know? The MAC Studio Fix Foundation is definitely one that is staying. I've got a personalized bottle. So cute. Ew, the lid's starting to get a bit sticky though. Disgusting. The Rimmel Kind and Free Skin Tint is one of my new favorites. This is the lighter shade 10 Rose Ivory. And it is... Too dark for me, but I love it. Some more that are going to stay are the Astralis Fresh and Flawless. This is in the shade Fairest and the Essence Pretty Natural. This is in the shade 050 Neutral Champagne. It's the lightest one that's available here in Australia and it's too dark for me. So a product that's definitely staying are the Astralis Matchmaker Shade Adjusting Drops. I use these so often, they're great. Okie dokie, I've got an upside down MAC Studio Fix. So I'm guessing that it is almost empty. Let's put that in the to use up pile. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless is going to stay. And then I've got this NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Now I used to love this. I haven't used it in so long. So I'm actually going to put that into my rotation pile. Who remembers this? Wasn't this a time to be alive? Oh my God, the Marc Jacobs, what is it even called? Remarkable Foundation. Yuck, <laughs> look at this bottle. <laughs> Disgusting. Do you know what? I'm gonna try this out because that coverage is like blowing me away. It might be a little bit too fair, but I can mix it with something, right? I just went through 100 foundations that are too dark for me. <laughs> All right, hiding down the back here, I've got the Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation. This is also a very lightweight, very full coverage, but I think this is like way too light for me. This is the shade Alabaster. Oh yeah, she is light. I think I might pass this one on because I'm just not going to use a foundation. That's that fair. Oh my God, the coverage is outstanding though. Damn. All right, next I've got some of the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundations. And I used to love this. Such good coverage and super long lasting. Now this shade here, Pale looks like it might be too fair for me, but this shade light porcelain looks more like my match It doesn't even look like there's much left actually So I might put that in my use up pile and porcelain I might pass on to someone else next I've got the NYX bear with me and this is a tinted skin veil 
I'm pretty sure I liked this. I haven't given it like that much time. So that can go in the rotation. And then I've got the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. Now I did recently try the Candid Glow. Where is that? I don't know. But I did really like that. So I might give this one another try and see what I think. Next, I've got some of the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Tints. Is that what they are? Oh no, they say foundations. This is porcelain, which is fair, like way too fair for me. And then this is fair light, which is, I believe, too dark for me. So I have two shades so that I can mix them. Like, look at the difference. Seriously, can I just get a nice in-between? Oh, perfect. <laughs> I did really like this, but I would like to put it back in rotation because there are a lot of like skin tints coming out at the moment and I would like to compare this to some others. Next, I've got some of the designer brands Luminous Hydrating Foundations. Now, I did use this in a video just the other day, I'm pretty sure. And one shade was too light and one shade was spot on, so. All right, this shade here, True Ivory, is far too light, so I'm going to get rid of that one, but I will keep the shade Porcelain Ivory. Oh my God, the Kmart OXX Bloom Foundation. I forgot about this, but I really enjoyed it. That's right, the pump was a bit, mm, how you going? But I am going to keep that. I liked that foundation. Another one by Designer Brands, this is the Skin Renew, and this is in the shade Porcelain Ivory. I'm not quite sure what the difference is between this one and the hydrating foundation. So I might have to compare the two. Let me put them next to each other. This is the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint, and this is amazing. I do have the shade Hint of Latte, which is a little bit dark for me, although it's described as light with neutral pink undertones. But this is amazing. That is staying. One that I'm definitely getting rid of is the L'Oreal True Match Nude. I hated this. The shade, not good. It just didn't last. It didn't, it just didn't look good. <laughs> Next, I have the Essence Hello Good Stuff. This is a tinted beauty cream in the shade 10 light. I haven't actually tried this. Shade's a little bit dark. Has a nice creamy texture. Oh, it's perfumed. I need to try that one, see if I even like it. <laughs> and then lastly, I have three foundations which I've used, but I can't really remember my thoughts. Did I even test them out long enough? I kind of got them all around like that COVID time. So starting with the Misha BB Perfect Cover. Need to try those out. I've got the Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Foundations. They look like the same shade, but I'm sure they're different. There's no sticker on the bottom of this one, and this one is Porcelain L1. And then I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. All right, well, it seems as though I've got a lot of um, testing to do. <laughs> And that's a bit hard when I'm at a time right now that I'm not wearing as much foundation. So this is the pile of products that I am getting rid of. I have someone in mind who I will pass them on to, someone that is actually as fair or even fairer than me. These products here are potential declutters. I just wanna give them one last turn. And then these products here are ones that I want to use up. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what I should declutter next, eyeshadow palettes or blushes. Don't forget to go and check out Ana Luisa. I've already got my eye on some more pieces I would like to add to my collection. You can click the link in the description box. And again, don't forget to use my code Tanika10 for 10% off. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. You can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.